Oh. Ask me some funny questions. I um, I get really nervous doing these <laughs> My name is Sophia Hector Smith. I'm 19 years old. I'm from Laguna Beach, California. I currently live in a warehouse in Costa Mesa, California. <laughs> So both of my pa parents are, are painters um, and makers. They just started constantly creating things. So uh, growing up, um, our garage was always an art studio for my parents to wear. <laughs> so my mom was always like, oh, you've been holding paint brushes before you can hold pencil kind of deal. So I've always, uh, always done it. <laughs> since I can remember, <laughs> yeah. Like a lot of my work is uh, finding old, old photographs or like old, old magazines and incorporating that into my work and kind of uh, giving it new life. And then my dad, um, definitely influenced from him, like working large scale and experimenting a lot because he, he's worked with a lot of different materials. Growing up, my mom got me, I was like obsessed with like going in the magazine section at the mm -hmm. supermarket when uh, my mom would do grocery shopping and I'd always try to get her to buy magazines and she would always be like, no, I don't need more magazines. And so I started cutting up hers and then she got all pissed off and her cousin was in town uh, one week and like saw, she like saw my mom yelling at me for like cutting up her like vanity fair and bought me a subscription to Nat Geo because <laughs> like that's the one I wanted. And so uh, for like years after that, I had the subscription to National Geographic. And just like whenever it came in the mail, it was like the first thing I do was like tear the shit out of it. I think it's, it's super fun to work off of an image because you kind of get to bring it new life and new meaning. And then uh, you have like this sort of interaction with it where you can go multiple ways. And, it's kind of easier than starting off with like a blank canvas because that's super intimidating. <laughs> and so what I, I usually just start off with like finding images I like from my collection and then just kind of pasting them and spreading them out in certain ways and going from there for adding on and stuff. Um, I have a lot of influence from the people that I actually de dedicated the show to, um, Diana, James, John, and Marco, they're very influential people to me. They were like my uh, my art school for two years. And then um, like some of my favorite artists, I really like Danny Fox, his work's incredible. And then uh, like Harry Hu of the Chicago Images, like, that whole group, which is kind of like Shit Art Club in a sense, like a little spin off of it, it's really cool. No, I really like movies too. I like film a lot. Um, I think that's definitely influential. I got bit by so many mosquitoes last Um. <laughs> um. I'll go surf. That's fun. Now that I live in Costa Mesa, I'm good like blackies. So like pretty much only logging spot in Costa Mesa. <laughs> Besides that, it's like a bunch of aggro short borders. Ah, oh, dude. I seriously, it's like I, all I do is like paint. That's just like good shit. My favorite color. Um. My favorite color changes like every week. I love color. Color is the best. I think lizard people is really funny. I think that's so funny. <laughs> like, isn't it where, isn't the conspiracy where like people think that there's just like, they can see like people's eyes change in the light and then they just are wearing a skin suit but they're actually a lizard? I think mean, that's so funny, like so ridiculous, and I would love for that to be true. <laughs> that would be so funny. I, I hung out with all the like the popular girls by default because it's a really small town. You kind of grow up with like the same people and go through school with everybody. And so like the, the girls that I like grew up with ended up being the the popular ones. And then 
I started hanging out with uh, these kids that like started a garage band. And I was like, and it turned into like a little, little punk bitch. And, uh, and then I got too weird for all those girls. <laughs> and so I would like eat lunch in the art room with my punk friends. I don't know, I feel like the, the US like just doesn't take care of its artists and like doesn't promote its artists and that's like one of the most important things for society. The show name pretty much has like nothing to do with the idea of it. It's like it's it's part of the dedication to um, James and Diana and John and Marco. I just felt like everything I was trying to name it just sounded like super douchey. <laughs> or like super, like super, uh, what's the word? I don't know. It was just too serious. And I'm not a serious person. Like, I don't take myself seriously. I, I take what I do and my work seriously, but I am, do not take myself seriously. <laughs> All the work was originally for a different show, actually. And a week before the opening, um, the lockdown happened, and so I had all this work that I had been working on for like two months straight from like 5 a.m. to 2 a.m. to fill a gallery. And um, then I was just like, I couldn't show any of it. And I was a fucking bummer. I feel that like they've totally taken me in. Like they're all like big brothers to me now. Um, they're all amazing people and they've created like such a, a cool environment and community of artists and um, creatives and people that are just stoked on what they're doing and I, I feel super lucky to be a part of it and they're all freaks and so am I so it works out perfectly. <laughs>